Hi, in this video of C, we will discuss about logical operators. As in the previous video, we covered relational operators which were used to do some conditional things like comparing two values and getting the values like true and false that is in C, 1 and 0. But if we have multiple conditional things like here, how can we merge them up? So here we will use the logical operators as here in logical operator we have the operators like AND and OR which are used to combine two conditions. If I will talk about AND operator it will return a true that is 1 if both the conditions are true. If any of the condition is false it will return a 0. Similarly if I will talk about OR operator it will return a false only when both the conditions are false. But if any of the condition is returning a true, it will return a true, means 1. Similarly, if I will talk about the NOT operator, this NOT operator is a unary operator which will simply convert a 0 to 1, means a false to true and true to false. So let's see a practical implementation for all these three logical operators. So for the relational operator AND, here I have taken a variable C which will store the result written by the AND operator. And as I said earlier several times like here 1 will represent a true and 0 will represent a false. So accordingly this AND operator will work as in the first statement when both the values are 1 so in the resultant you will also get a 1 while if any one of the value whether the second one or the first one or both are having 0 so the resultant of AND operator will be a 0. So when I will execute this you can see only in the first condition it is returning us a 1 after that all the three are having 0. So this is what happens with the AND operator like it will return a true when both the conditions will be true. But let me now replace this AND operator with the OR in all the places. So now you can see like I have replaced the AND operator with the OR operator by using the double pipe symbol and here whenever any one of the condition is, will be 1 the resultant will be 1 but when both the conditions or both the statements are returning you a 0 then the resultant of OR operator will also be 0. Like here you can check I have not used any expression or any boolean command here but I have used the 1 and 0 as the constant figures but definitely you can pass any expression using the relational operator which will, which will give you a value like 0 or 1. So if I will execute I will observe like only in the last when both the conditions or both the values are 0 the resultant of OR operator is coming 0 otherwise in any of the previous statements you will find 1 as the output whether both or any one condition is true. But in the very reverse if I will do something like if I will use this exclamation along with this these values let me put exclamation in all the printf's which is nothing but the NOT operator. So it will just give you a reverse value. So now all the 1's become 0 and 0 becomes 1. So this is how you can work with the logical operators that is AND, OR and NOT. In the future we will use these statements in order to pass a, in any decision making such as in if statement or in any loop in order to tell like how many times I want to execute a particular given loop. So this is all about the logical operators.